Hi folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving. Now you may have heard that the eyesight test on the driving test is changing. Used to be that you had to be able to read a car number plate, standard car number plate from 20 meters away. And the test is being trialed and I believe the trial is coming to an end and this is probably being rolled out to other driving test centers where you will be reading a smaller number plate on an iPad screen at just five to six meters away. I think the distance is going to be five and a half meters. And I just want to explain the biology of what's happening in your eye and explain why reading an iPad at five and a half meters is exactly the same as reading a car number plate at 20 meters. I will put some graphics up here and I'll shove myself over. So what happens in your eye? You've got a lens in your eye and that lens will change shape. It will sometimes be very thin and it will sometimes be very fat like that. And we've got muscles attached around the outside of this lens that will help it change shape. And when you're reading something very close, the lens is very fat, the muscles are stretching, the muscles are under tension, and that's making the lens fat. And that allows you to read something very close, like, like reading a book or looking at the speedometer on your, your car. As you start looking at things further and further away, that lens starts to get thinner. The muscles around the lens start to relax and the lens gets thinner. So when you're looking at something maybe two meters away, it's like that, and then three meters and four meters and five meters. And when you get to somewhere around five and a half meters, the lens is at its thinnest. It's never going to get any thinner than that and the muscles around the eye at that point are totally relaxed. And we call this focusing at an infinity. If you can read something at five and a half meters with your lens at its thinnest, then biologically, by definition, you can also focus on something at 20 meters away or a mile away or you can focus on something that's a humongous distance away, like focusing on the moon or the stars. So that explains why it's actually quite safe and a realistic test to have an iPad at five and a half meters away from you compared to the old style of 20 meters. Now, what we also need to think about is the visual acuity. And you can liken this to kind of the number of pixels in your in your phone's camera um, and the the clarity with which you are able to actually see that information and this is a separate thing from focusing on that information now for that test to work it is a simple case of scaling down the image according to how far the distance is now so a standard car number plate is about 70 millimeters high, the lettering is about 70 millimeters high. And that used to be read at 20 meters. So the equivalent size, let's say you brought the distance down to 10 meters, you halve the distance, well, you would halve the size. So you'd then be reading some lettering that was three and a half centimeters or 35 millimeters tall at 10 meters. If we come down to five meters and we halve it again, well, what's half of three and 0.5, that's, is it 1.75 centimeters? So 17, eight, 17 or 18 millimeters. So on an iPad screen at five meters with lettering that is about 17 or 18 millimeters high, the test is exactly the same as reading a car number plate at 20 meters away. Well, I hope that's cleared things up and expect the iPad test to be coming to your test center very soon. 
One advantage of this is that the iPad screen is bright. It's backlit. And this means that the eyesight test can be done in bad weather. So it's allowing tests to be done earlier in the morning and later into the evening when normally the ambient light wouldn't be sufficient for a fair eyesight test. It's now making that eyesight test fair so tests can happen earlier and later. Well, I hope that's been useful to you and we will see you on another video very soon. Bye for now.